Okay, so I have a very low-end laptop. Basically, uh, basically it's a very cheap laptop, and it can it barely runs this game. So here are a few here are a few issues I've come up with. The, uh, very recurring issues. Basically, things that you can do to this game uh, you can do on this game that will basically make the laptop just shut down. Here's one. Let's see. Let's say I want to put an SD80 Mac on the track. So here we have a Conrail SD80 Mac, putting it on the track. Now I'm going to put another one behind it. Now let's attach some freight cars behind it. Let's see, Beth gone. Let's try this one. Ah, oh, that's weird. Usually it would have crashed by now. It's actually working. Let's see, if, let's see what happens if I attach a few more freight cars behind it. Yep, there it is. Yeah, this laptop does not like the SD80 Mac for some reason. It makes this happen when I try to put it on the track. Okay, here's another thing that makes the game crash. Anything from China, for example, CHN. Here are some Chinese tracks that have very high detail. Again, the, and the, this laptop specifically has a huge issue with with running them. Let, let's see what happens when I put more than one small section on the track. Now let's put another section on the track. And now another one. Eh. That's interesting. It hasn't crashed yet. Usually it would have crashed by now. Hmm. Well, it's not happening now, but usually... Well, it hasn't crashed now, but usually having these tracks on the ground makes the game freeze. And creates that fatal error message that you saw earlier. This time it didn't do it, thankfully. Oh, wait. Yes, it did. Yeah, that happens when you put those Chinese stuff on on the track on the game for some reason. This laptop. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this laptop is unable to run that stuff because it can't handle the high detail. It ends up making the game crash on this laptop. Okay, this happened again because I accidentally selected a Chinese tank car in this game. I was I clicked I clicked the um the train menu and it uh, and it already had the Chinese tank car highlighted and it caused the error. So yeah, you can't even click on them in this game. Well, you can, you just can't do it on this laptop. <laughs> You should have seen the look on my face when I opened that menu and saw that that train car is already highlighted. I was like, no, don't do that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to crash the game. <laughs> but there was nothing I could do to stop it. <laughs> okay, there's one last issue that I, that I want to show you. <laughs> But if you look at them at a certain angle, it makes the game crash. Oh, I can't stand this. Now, these tank cars don't make the game freeze. However, you really got to be careful with them. If you move the camera too quickly, or if you zoom in or zoom out too quickly, it makes the game crash. So basically, when you're anywhere around these tank cars, move the camera very, very gently. <laughs> or else it'll just crash. It especially happens if you're anywhere near a railroad crossing that's already on. That also makes the game crash if you zoom the camera too quickly. I found that out the hard way. 
These super liner cars don't freeze the game. However, if you look at them at a certain angle, it'll make it crash too. So that's another issue I've had to deal with. I'm not sure why these make the game crash. They're not even that highly detailed compared with, for example, the Chinese tracks I was showing you earlier. I mean, they are pretty, and they are, I mean, they are pretty detailed, but they're not as detailed as the ones that usually cause the game to crash. So yeah, those are a few issues I've had with this with this low-end laptop running this game.